Welcome to Mount St. Mary College Library's tutorial on business resources. This tutorial will provide you with an overview of article databases, statistical resources, sources of company information, ebooks, newspapers, and streaming video content. To begin searching a database, go to the library webpage at www msmc.edu slash library, select Articles and Databases, then select Databases A to Z to choose a specific database, or select Browse Databases to look for databases in a particular subject such as business or management. If you select Databases by subject, you will be redirected to an extensive list of subjects that correspond to our major courses of study. When you select a subject from this list, you will go to a LibGuide, which is a research guide in your chosen subject. Here is the main page of the Business LibGuide, which contains a wealth of information in business, such as articles, ebooks, and websites. To search for articles, choose one of the databases. For this example, I'll click on Business Source Premier. This is the main page for Business Source Premier. You will see several search boxes where you can enter search terms. Students often begin with basic keywords. For instance, if you are interested in finding information about the relationship between gender and management styles, you may enter those terms to find articles on this topic. In this case, we find 136 articles. Once you find articles using keywords, you can look at the article abstracts to find out what specific subject terms the database uses. Then, plug those terms into the search box, making sure you choose Subject Terms from the drop-down menu to the right of the search box. In most cases, this will narrow your search, and the results will tend to be more relevant. By using the subject terms Women Executives and Management Styles, the search result drops to 72. You can obtain the full text of the article by clicking on the option PDF or HTML under the article title. Here is the abstract of one of the articles from our search. You can see the subject terms listed under the article title. This is a PDF version of one of the articles. It is an exact scanned version of the article that appears in print. Be sure to use the icons within the article at the top right corner to print or download the article. Sometimes you may see Check True Serials for Full Text instead of the PDF or HTML options. If you click on this link, you will be redirected to a page that lists other databases where you can access the full text of the article. If the article is not available in another database, you may request it through ILLiad, our interlibrary loan system. You can easily sign up for an ILLiad account by clicking on the link, and you will receive an email notification when the article is ready to be accessed. Here is an example of an article being available in a different database, in this case, Business Insights Essentials. Notice that there is a link to that database where you can access the full text, as well as a link to ILLiad where you could request it if, you did not, if it did not happen to be in any other database. The library makes it easy to get the articles you need by offering these varied entry points. This database, like all the databases the library subscribes to, allows you to limit your results to get more specific. You can apply limits when you begin your search or wait until you get your results. The limits are listed along the left-hand side of the search in EBSCO. Some examples of limits are a type of source such as an academic journal or trade publication, a specific date range, a particular company, a geographic location, etc. Applying limits will narrow your search and help you find exactly what you need. Another valuable database is LexisNexis Academic. It contains a wealth of news, legal, and company data. You can search a topic across all of these categories by typing your term into the search box, or choose only one of the categories by clicking on one of the tabs at the bottom of the main screen and then typing your search in. Here we have the results of a basic search across all three categories for trans-specific partnership. You can see that the database breaks the results out into categories or types of sources along the left-hand side of the search results. You can limit your search by adding terms to the Search Within Results box at the top right of the screen or simply clicking on one of the choices along the left-hand side. 
For example, by clicking on Law Reviews and Journals, you can see information just in those sources. The library has access to many ebooks, where you can find which you can find by searching the catalog or choosing the ebooks tab on the Business LibGuide. The LibGuide links to two very comprehensive ebook collections, Credo Reference and the Academic Collection by EBSCO. These databases are also listed in the Databases A to Z list, which provides descriptions of these collections. Here is the main page for Credo Reference, which is a great resource for background information. It contains over 500 full-text reference encyclopedias and dictionaries in every subject. They are easily searchable by keyword or by collection, such as business and economics. Here are the results of a basic search for the term management in Credo. The term appears in many sources, all of which are credible and easily citable. Once you get your results, you can apply limits to narrow your search, such as to particular collections, length, date, etc. The limits appear along the left-hand side of the search results. EBSCO's academic collection provides unlimited simultaneous access to over 150,000 ebooks in every subject. You can search by combining terms or browse collections such as business and economics, which are listed along the left-hand side of the main page under Browse by Category. Here we see the results of searching the term management in academic collection. The search re retrieved thousands of books. You may download the full book or click on the title to browse through the table of contents to see if the book is relevant. The library subscribes to valuable statistical resources that are credible and reliable. These are listed in the Business LibGuide under the Data and Statistics tab. You will see a list of the statistical databases along with descriptions. One of the best is Data Planet Statistical Datasets. This is the main page of Data Planet Statistical Datasets, which contains the world's largest collection of statistical data. It contains three basic elements. The first element is the indicator panel. This is where you select the indicator you want to trend, rank, or map. The second element is the criteria panel, where you select the variables and level of detail for your data. The results panel is where you can view the results of your selection in a table on the left of the screen and in a chart or map on the right hand side. Here's the display for crude oil price data. You may choose from any criteria that is listed. For instance, you can display data for day, month, or year. You can also download the data into various formats such as Excel. Just choose Export. Here are the results for two sectors of construction spending, which you can cross compare by clicking on the shift key when you choose the terms. You can display the data in numerous ways by choosing from the options listed. The raw data is listed on the left hand side and plotted in a graph on the right hand side. Here's the same data displayed as a line graph. By clicking and dragging your mouse over the data, you can choose specific data to display. Here I have chosen to look at data from January of 93 to November of 2011. And here we can, I'm sorry. Here we can see the same criteria for 2006 to 2011. This screen shows the business bankruptcies for New York and New Jersey from 2011 plotted on a bar graph. Statistical data sets allows you to manipulate data in endless ways. Here we can see personal bankruptcies, Chapter 7 type, displayed in map form for the U.S. over a particular quarter. This screen shows death row statistics since 1973 by all ages, races, and ethnicity. The data can be further broken down for any of these criteria since they are listed as possible choices. The library also offers several databases that contain company and industry information. They are listed in the Business LibGuide under the Company Info tab. One of these databases is Mergent Online. It contains a wealth of textual information, including company financials, descriptions, history, property, subsidiaries, officers and directors, as well as industry analyses. You can search by company name or SIC code on the basic search page. 
Here we see the results of a search for Apple Inc. You may click on any of the tabs listed under the company record to see information such as financials, competitors, etc. Here are the financials for Apple. You can download the report or print it out by clicking on one of the icons on the right hand side. You can build a custom report by choosing Report Builder and selecting data items from the left hand side and moving them to the right hand side using the arrows in the middle of the screen. Here we have selected Closing Price, Dividend Yield, and EPS as report items for Apple. Here's the report downloaded into Excel. You can also obtain detailed industry reports by choosing the Report Search tab from the main page and clicking a corresponding box from the list. These are reports that analyze select industries which are listed on the page. The library also offers access to the full text of several newspapers that are fully indexed and searchable. You can find them listed in the database's A to Z section. We have a campus-wide subscription to the Digital New York Times. You must register for your own account using your Mount email to gain access to a rich array of multimedia content. We also offer full text coverage of the Wall Street Journal so you won't have to pay for the articles on the journal's website. One of the library's newest resources is Canopy, a streaming video collection that contains a broad array of streaming films, documentaries, and training videos. Canopy is easily searchable by title or subject categories, and you can create an individual account in order to organize your playlists and embed videos and presentations. You will see a link to the Canopy LibGuide under the Canopy description on the database's A to Z list. If you need to find anything in the library, you can search our catalog on the library's main webpage at www.msmc.edu slash library. You can search our collection for books, AV material, periodicals, and ebooks. You can also email questions to a librarian or make an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one research session. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Please do not hesitate to contact me for help with your research. You can reach me at vivian.milzarski at msmc.edu. That's spelled V-I-V-I-A-N dot M-I-L-C-Z-A-R-S-K-I at msmc.edu. And my phone number is 845-569-3523.